Hello everybody and welcome back to our next Dragon Age episode. We're going to be continuing to push through this fortress here. If I can remember which direction I came from. Uh, we're going to keep pushing through here and working on clearing out the werewolf. See if we can't resolve the rest of this today. I know we are definitely near the end of it. Alright. No other side they're coming from first. I kind of straight ahead. All right, just clear us more undead. Why there are skeletons here? I cannot begin to say. All right. Hands off the healers. Thanks for playing. All right, it's good. Broken crate, nothing on the shelf. Had the locked chest, can I even get into it yet? Yes, thank you. All right. Come down here for the other dead end. Look at all these weapons and stuff. They're just laying on the ground. They can't. Another glass phylactery. Take the vial. Fractures at my touch. Here comes this pain in the butt. Alright. Yep. Pull. Immune, immune. He's a. Literally immune to the damage from both mages. But now you're seeing the power of this build with me having suppressing fire and rapid shot, and Liana having suppressive fire and rapid shot. It's attack. And defense just drops so low that it sits here. It misses our high dexterity characters that it is attacking while we can't miss it. And we just slowly pelt it down. Nope. Looks like we can actually miss it a little bit. And I'm sure it can hit us a little bit. There are the equivalent criticals, I assume, in this game. Took you long enough. All right. Codex is updated. Pick up the shield. Turn around here. Oh. Apparently we're encountering some invisible walls there. All right. Yeah, there are lots of traps in this room, so we're not going to charge in. Please don't charge in, Morgan. You do charge in. Go off! Crap, I hit one. I forget about the ones on the sides. Oh, this is so bad for us. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's still another one back there. Okay. All right. Disarm that one. Disarm that one. Disarm this one. Let's go this way and disarm. 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 I apparently get going too fast. Why won't you let me disarm this one? 
Whatever. We're coming over here. We're disarming these. That one's still active. Why is this one still active? Why is it not disarmed? And this one here is still active for some reason. It won't show it to me. That is not what I was clicking. I mean, at this point in time, because I'm an all range squadron, it's basically just free experience to disarm all these traps. They weren't too much trouble dealing with it. It probably would have been none if I had remembered that there was that one, that they were on the sides too. Why won't you let me disarm this trap? What's on your mind? No Apparently, I'm just not good enough for that one. So we're gonna let it be. Stop walking on it and getting set on fire. And loot some bodies. Okay. Night corpse. I do it. Ventures. Codex unbound. Okay. And let's pop open this door. Do do do. Oh, there's diversions coming up here. Okay. Looks like I can't run past the root. And nothing over on this side. It's just, you know, saving game. We just gotta go in. This room. Okay. Simple enough, simple enough. Uh, it doesn't look like any of this stuff dropped anything. Yep. Comes a couple more. But hey, they're really no threat at all if you can yank them a couple at a time. Alright. Alright, no codexes on the statues and stuff. Move down to the next level. And nothing here to collect. Yeah, this fight's supposed to be hard. Is he tell is he supposed to teleport all around and deal lots of damage to you? Like you know, you're supposed to take lots of damage from the field of stuff as he teleports around the map and all range team just stands at the top of the thing and shoots him. Gloves. Manuscript copy. Now we're going to take it all. And coming out the other side here. Oh, yeah, you could jump by these guys too. At least in. That's the theory of what they want to happen in this fight. 
Who'd be crazy enough to use a team that didn't have a melee combatant in it? Oh, that's right. I would be. Right. All right. Pop open some sarcophagi. Ancient elven armor. Have you hack a chest? Oh, that's getting annoying. I'll fall for doing shit out of order. Basically, at some point in time, the completionist in me is going to come back through, run through everything we've already done in the game, to collect all the chests I couldn't open. Like this bastard. Ha! Is that all you've got? Because that's what happens when you're a completionist and get annoyed at not being able to collect everything. There's a reason I don't play games like Assassin's Creed and stuff. There's just too many collectibles for me, and I want them all, and if I can't get them all, I go up a wall. Okay. Soldier Corpse. Health Potion. Cophagus. Alright. Now, to get out of here, you jump in the pool. This is actually going to take us back to the first part of the map on the other side of that locked door. On it. Okay. These creatures look a mite upset. A mite upset, yeah. That's what you could say. Stop running in there. You're supposed to be shooting these people. I don't care about the ones attacking me, get the ones off the healers. Alright. And don't run through this area too fast at all, because there are traps. What you'll want, of course, want to disarm for the experience. Man, I'm hitting invisible walls all over this place. Such great game design, Bioware. I love how he just ran right over the trap without it affecting him. Whatever. You're not gonna kill me with that move. It's gonna make life a little annoying. Something else I've noticed, the further you get in the game, the longer it actually takes corpses to spawn their loot. Don't ask me why. Just the way it is sometimes. 
right ahead. Are you not shooting people? Oh, hands off the healers. Yeah, come after me. And dip down here for a pile of junk. Most of this stuff is completely useless. And there's normally just sold for the money. However, I don't need the money. Okay, that's annoying. Big mushroom. Is there anything good in this chest? No. Is it just annoying that I can't open it when I'm supposed to be able to? Yes. There we go. Okay, get up here in the right freaking angle, apparently. Ah. It's a great game. EA, it's a great game. We don't hate it at all. Right now, I love. Despite the bugs, I hate this game. I don't hate this game at all. We do not wish any more of our people hurt. I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parley? Yeah. Like I was trying to earlier. I am merely another of the cursed who guard the entrance to our sanctum. I have been sent to parley. Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. She means you no harm. Provided your willingness to parley in peace is an honest one. Follow me, but I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the Fade itself to see you pay. Yeah. It wasn't part of the thing where I was trying to do the entire time so far. You guys refused. I bid you welcome, mortal. I am the Lady of the Forest. Do not listen to him, Lady. He will betray you. We must attack him now. Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones we've been trying to save. Is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. The time has come to speak with this outsider, to set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift on his behalf. He struggles with his nature. Truer words were never spoken. But few could claim the same as these creatures, that their very nature is a curse forced upon them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian have not told you. It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. 
Latrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. They are humans. Tortured the boy, killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. Gathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit, binding it to the body of a great wolf. So Witherfang came to me. <laughs> Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and savage creatures. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady, you gave me peace. I showed Swift Summer that there was another side to his best in nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. In part, we seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who were long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the land ships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <coughs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. This is an option. Uh, and if you choose this option, and it affects who you get at the end. Instead of getting Dalish elves to assist you at the end, you can get werewolves. He will never break the curse, my lady. He will never allow it. You know this. We cannot know that. Surely his rage does not run so deep he would endanger his own clan. If Zathrian comes, I shall summon Mizafan. I possess that power. I also have the power to ensure Mizafan is never found. Tell Zathrian this. If he does not come, if he does not break the curse, he will never find Witherfang, and he will never cure his people. I believe there is. There must be. If there is no way that he dies, then they all die. And we shall await your return. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can. All right. We are actually going to go, let's see here. Get my fingers on the right button so I can actually maneuver. Don't believe there's ever anything up here. Where is this one lead? Okay, those are the stairs out that we will eventually need to take. And you guys recognize those? They come into play here in just a minute. Let's get started. Are these the stairs out? Yeah. Okay. So this is where you come in and get asked to parlay, and then they parlay you past, right past all this nice 
stuff. So make sure you come back and collect it. What level are my characters? Ten, so I'm still two levels away from that. Uh means I won't even hit it now. I will literally have to come back. Okay. Just, uh, take the mushroom. Oh. <sighs> Learn from my mistakes. Don't do the daily second. Do them third. Do them fourth. Don't do them second. Alright, spin around here. Ancient text. Got another scroll. Actually, I haven't checked my inventory lately. Ancient element armor. Liana cannot wear the ancient element ar armor either. That one's better. You technically don't have fire damage, you deal. Okay. Okay, that's just better defense for you. All right. A little bit better armor on the mages. Never a bad thing. Here. And then off this way is the way we've not gone yet to loot. Okay, nothing there. We don't actually have to go very far to find him. Because we're taking too long. Okay. Throwing my stairs out. On the way up here, we should find a treasure pile. Treasure pile is a single pair of boots. All right. Hey, look! Don't want to go very far. We took too long. He came looking for us. Ah, and here you are already. You have caused a safe path through the forest. Safe enough for me to follow, anyhow. <laughs> he wishes to see if we did his work for him. Is that not why you were here now, sorcerer? Do not call me that, witch. I am keeper of this plan, and have done what I must. Did you acquire the heart? You didn't. May I ask you, why are you leaving the room? Oh, is that what the spirit calls herself now? And what does she want with me, if I might inquire? 
You do understand that she actually is Widow Fanny? She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both, two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. I find that difficult to believe. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruins. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. We may then be slain and the heart taken. No, Witherfang's heart will cure the hunter, but it does not end the curse. The curse is more powerful than that. And even if I could, I would not break the curse. These savage beasts deserve their existence. I will do nothing to help them, ever. You were not there. You did not see what, what, what they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are not Danish. How can you know how we had to struggle to be safe? How could I have let their crimes go unanswered? I remember them as if it were yesterday. Even if they are more than animals now, they desire nothing but revenge. They will never let my clan be. Tell me, if you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? Very well. You wish me to go and talk? I will do so. But what if it is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? I fail to see the purpose behind this, but... Very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. Alrighty. We're gonna do a cutscene and a cutscene and a battle, which is gonna make this just a bit long of an episode. So here you are, sir. She is the lady of the forest. You will address her properly. You've taken a name, spirit? And you've given names to your pets? These beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me the names out here. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages, worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit, as is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? And so he did. Witherfang and I are bound as one being. But such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian. But that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No! That is not how it is. I did it for my people. I did it for my son and my daughter. Hmm. For them, for justice, I would do anything. The curse would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe his death plays a part in its ending. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, 
and I will never do it. Ha! You see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. Okay. Yep, and the werewolves are held out of the fight. things down. Down goes that shade. Down goes that sylvan. Okay, we're making progress. Now we can turn our attention to Zathrian. Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It has consumed my soul. What of you, Spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet in all things I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. You shame me, I am an old man. Alive, long past this time. And you do? You end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us. Let us put an end. Amazing how they get close. It's over. She's gone. And we're human. I can scarcely believe it.
We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We will never forget you. All right. Wynn and Liliana both approve of how that was handled. Make sure. Okay. There's no treasure laying around or anything. So this is where we're going to wrap it up today. Uh, we will be back again on Wednesday where we will go finish up the storyline part of the quest. Uh, and probably head back to camp and do some more to advance uh, quests for our individual characters. I will see you all again then. Have a wonderful day.